This transfer portal is keeping everybody across college football hopping, and it's no different in Lincoln, where Nebraska has three transfers named today, three in the transfer portal. We got uh, Greg Peterson on the line, as always, from Husker Online there on Rivals. Greg, how are you doing tonight? Doing fine. How about you, Mark? Doing just fine. Appreciate you stopping by to break this down for us. So Luke McCaffrey, uh, his brother just transferred or jumped in the transfer portal. We should uh, distinguish those two things. Yep. Uh, just entered the transfer portal there at Michigan just a couple of days ago. So now Luke McCaffrey, one TD passing, six picks. Uh, he got a shot after Adrian Martinez was uh, sent to the sidelines, but it didn't last long for him. Uh, Cade Warner who saw his playing time diminish uh, recently, had just five catches this year, 30 in his career, and Will Farniak. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously the big one is, is Luke McCaffrey. Um, and, and then, you know, when you touch on the other two guys, uh, you know, Cade Warner, like you said, you know, he uh, – kind of saw his playing time get diminished there towards the end of the year. He only had 12 snaps, I believe, in the last three games after starting the first four games. So he saw the writing on the wall a little bit. And, you know, I mean, he's he's a senior, and he, he wants to go play somewhere. He wants to go spend his last year somewhere where he's going to get some snaps in. So you can't fault him for that. And, uh, you know, kind of the same thing with uh, Will Farniak. You know, he's been a backup center um, and – probably was always going to be a backup center. So, you know, he's still got a few years left. So he wanted to move on somewhere else, um, and especially with his older brother, Matt, um, you know, putting his name in uh, for the NFL draft. So, uh, yeah, you, you lose three more guys today, um, you know, and obviously, you know, everybody's talking about Luke McCaffrey and, um, you know, and, and the McCaffrey family obviously is, you know, one of those blue bloods of, of – college football and pro football and um you're you don't want to be a backup if your last name is McCaffrey you're not in it to be uh you know the number two guy uh you, you want to be the number one guy and you know you saw Luke's um you know after playing pretty decent and then you know losing his starting job and Adrian Martinez coming back in and, and playing really well the last three or four ball games uh not throwing a pick and kind of reestablishing himself um, you, you saw the writing on the wall. Um, one way or the other, uh, it was going to be one or the other of them that were going to stay here. So it's not a big surprise. Um, you know, we've kind of known about this uh, behind closed doors for probably since the season started, since the COVID all broke out. And, you know, if it wasn't for this COVID year, he might have been gone a little bit sooner. Um, you know, and you, you mentioned – uh, Dylan, his his older brother, who uh, he put his name into the portal actually before the season started. Um, you know when he he didn't get starting nod there at Michigan either. So he's been you know he put his name in uh, way back when. Um, so you know both of them are, are looking for a starting gig, obviously, and you know it hurts. You like to have a guy like that in the program, um, but um, you know now you've got it's Adrian Martinez or bust at the moment, you know, he's going to have to perform, um, you know, he's going into his fourth year now as a starting quarterback. So uh, it's time to shine. And, you know, so Nebraska is going to be a hundred percent behind him. And hopefully with some of the pieces that they've been adding here lately, uh, some of the weapons that um, want to get established here that, that he can turn into, uh, you know, a consistent quarterback and that, that guy that we've been waiting for to break out, you know, since uh, kind of taking the nation by shock uh, his freshman year and, uh, you know, becoming the Heisman candidate going into his sophomore season. So, yeah, you know, we wish Luke all the best. And, um, you know, this is kind of the same thing. Uh, we saw this with, with Luke uh, in high school as well. Um, not moving on per se, but he wasn't the starting quarterback when he was a junior in high school. And, you know, they had somebody else starting and um, they, they lost the state championship and uh, they kind of uh, uh, cost that the head coach's job. And then uh, Ed McCaffrey took over the head coaching job uh, Luke's senior season and and they won the state title. So, uh, you know, he wants to go be a quarterback somewhere. And I think that uh, they 
he was probably looking at them wanting him to be that kind of all-purpose guy, like a taste in the hill type of a guy for the Saints um, coming in next season. And I, I don't think he that's not what he wants to do. He wants to be a starting quarterback just like his brother Dylan wants to do. Now with Dylan, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and this really doesn't matter. It all shakes out in the wash the same way. But but Dylan opted out for this season, and then he announced the the transfer portal decision just in the last week, right? Um, no, I thought no, he jumped in. I mean, okay. he he, he uh, you know because they had a battle there for the starting job going into the season, and uh, Harbaugh named I'm not sure what the their yeah. starters Joe was, Milton. That, Yep. So yeah, he, 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 he put it in then. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So man, this, this transfer portal just has to be an added headache for these head coaches and trying to maintain roster uh, because you've got just, th th they're playing a shell game as it is just with the scholarships and with the roster and, and trying to keep a certain number. I I'm sure every college football coach has a number at each position that they pretty much want to hit. We want, 11 offensive linemen and four quarterbacks or whatever the numbers are at each position. And then I guess the only thing that seems would make sense would shake out in their favor would be, you're not going to have five linebackers leave because once you have a couple leave, then the guys that are staying think, okay, well, we, we've got a better shot at starting. So we'll stay. Uh, so it, it tends to shake itself out to a certain extent, but still in terms of roster management, this has just added another layer of uh, things to work through. It's changed college football. Um, yeah, you, you don't just – it doesn't affect Nebraska. It affects everybody. I, Northwestern lost a ton of guys to uh, the transfer portal. Um, you know, and that's a team that just played for a Big Ten title. So it's not just about the winning and losing. It's all about playing time these days. And, uh, you know, when you get the opportunity, especially in a free year like this, when, when you can go and transfer – without having to sit out a year and, you know, immediate playing time somewhere else. Um, it, it's hard to say no to that. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's puts coaching staffs in a bind. And I think you kind of see people might ask why, why did Luke McCaffrey wait until today to announce that he, that he is transferring? Um, you know, that's because the semester just started yesterday and so he will remain on scholarship and on stipend for this semester here at Nebraska. And then he's free, free and clear to join whatever school he's going to go join, um, you know, for the summer semester. So, yeah, you, you kind of see these guys, they, they, they know the ins and outs of this too, you know, and it, it's, it's like free agency right now. Um, and you see, you know, you lose, you lose guys, but you know, you gain guys too, you know, Nebraska's still, when you when you look at the big loss here, it's Wandale Robinson. Obviously, you hate to lose a guy like Luke McCaffrey. Um, and you look at you know going into the season um, before the COVID hits, you're looking at your quarterback room as a loaded room right now. You know you, you you've got Adrian Martinez, you've got Luke McCaffrey, you've got Noah Vedral, and you've got Logan Smothers, and you're 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 looking pretty. Um, and but you're also wondering how you're going to keep everybody happy. Um, so now all of a sudden, you know, Noah Vedral leaves for Rutgers. Um, now Luke McCaffrey's transferring out and, you know, you've got Adrian Martinez and you've got a Logan Smothers, who's a four star from the state of Alabama. And after that, you've got three walk-ons all from, uh, the state of Nebraska. Um, well actually, and, and then a scholarship, uh, incoming freshman, all from the state of Nebraska, all from the Kearney area in Hastings. It's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah, I mean, all of a sudden you've got to turn your rooms around quick like that. Um, you know, you're all of a sudden guys that you're counting on, uh, you know, like a Wandale Robinson, he's going to be a fixture in your offense. All of a sudden he's gone. Um, but you know, it, it's next man up. It gives other guys an opportunity and you're getting other guys coming in that see opportunity as well. Cause there's immediate playing time right there. And you see that with Nebraska, they bring in, a top-notch receiver. They bring in a top-notch running back. Um, so you fill holes right away, guys that have played already, guys with experience. So it, it's a two-way street. And, you know, like I said, it's changed college football. And and uh, who knows, you know, how long is this going to last? And, and you know, are they going to start capping this thing off again? I, I don't know. But, it, yeah, I mean, you got to feel for coaching staffs and, 
just how much of a scramble mode that this puts them into. National Signing Day is only a week away. Uh, Greg has set us up uh, tremendously over the last several weeks and several months on what the class is going to look like, and we'll have him back uh, sometime next week to break it down on Wednesday or Thursday. Husker Online, Rivals, it's the industry standard. Uh, please join Greg and the rest of the staff over there. Greg, we appreciate you stopping by. Um, I'm sure we'll have more news to talk about uh, <laughs> at some point with more transfers, and obviously yeah. uh, National Signing Day is coming up, and we'll want to have you – uh, run down the whole class for us. So appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely. My pleasure. We'll talk to you soon.